Now we'll say a few things about ordering numbers on the number line. And there's a number line here. You see it on the screen and on your page. And it's typically drawn like you see it here with smaller numbers to the left and larger numbers to the right. And if we plot two numbers on the number line, and that just means drawing a little dot on the number line at the position where those numbers are, for example, the numbers 3 and 7, we can draw a little dot here at 3, and then another one over here at 7. So those two numbers are plotted on the number line. You can see that 7 is to the right of 3. What that means is this. 7 is greater than 3. It's a bigger number than 3, a larger number. And 3 is to the left of 7. That means 3 is less than 7 because smaller numbers are to the left. So if 3 is to the left of 7, then it's less than 7. And those two ideas can be written with a mathematical notation. I can say 7 is greater than 3 and write it like that. Or I can say 3 is less than 7 and I would write it like that. And these little symbols mean greater than and less than. And you should know those symbols. And the direction that this little thing points matters. It always points toward the smaller number. So when it's pointing to the right, it's a greater than symbol. It's saying this one is greater than that one. When it's pointing to the left, like you see here, it's a less than symbol. Here it's saying this first one is less than the second one. Um, you, can all, you can remember this by just remembering that it always points toward the smaller one. When I was in school, my math teacher told me a clever little way to remember it. Think of this thing as an alligator. Imagine that as an alligator's mouth. And the alligator's hungry. He wants to eat something. So he's going to go after the bigger number. So you see the mouth here, the alligator's mouth is opening toward the seven, like he's going to gobble up the seven. And same thing over here. So that will help you always get it correct, the direction in which that points. And you might think that's kind of silly, and maybe it is, but it sure helped me to remember which way that little, uh, that little greater than or less than symbol points. So you should understand that symbol and be able to use it and understand the relationship of the numbers on the number line, smaller numbers to the left and larger numbers to the right. Now here's an example. We're told to plot the numbers 6 and 8 on the number line and then write two mathematical statements about the numbers one using the greater than symbol and one using the less than symbol. So here we go. The number 6 is right here. So we put a little dot on the number line next to the 6 and the number 8 is right there. So the numbers are plotted and our two statements, one has to involve the greater than symbol. We'll write 8 is greater than 6 and then the other one involving the less than symbol we write 6 is less than 8. And these two statements are mathematically equivalent. They're just written one with the greater than symbol, one with the less than symbol. But those, those are basically the same statement. One of these statements doesn't give us any more information than the other. They mean the same thing. And here we're told to complete each of the following statements by writing a less than or greater than symbol such that each statement is true. And this should be pretty easy. 4 is clearly less than 8, so we put a less than symbol there. It always points toward the smaller one, or you can see the alligator gobbling up the bigger one. Um, right below that, 75 and 57. 75 is greater than 57. On the number line, it's further to the right. 6,000 is greater than 5,000. And 0 is less than 4. And all of those should make sense. And we'll come back and do some more exercises like this when we talk about negative numbers and decimal numbers. But it's important to be able to understand these concepts and be able to put numbers in order and be aware of where they appear on a number line, with larger numbers always appearing further to the right.